this one here. Let's fight off, fight off, fight off. It's open torch at five. Gonna be all done at five. I suppose some people are intrigued by, you know, the sort of things that people steal. I mean, what, what did we have here today? We had a bloody, weird bloody tile, tile surrounds. This is Ethan. He is a general assistant at the auction house. He's seen all sorts go under the hammer. So who, who freaking steals tile surrounds? <laughs> As you can see, we're at an auction. We're at the Auckland Police Auction. We're here to find out what people are bidding on, where the stuff comes from, and we're going to see if anyone's got a bug. A lot of people like police. I don't know if it's the name, I don't know if it's the stuff, but people love themselves to get a police auction. I think the weirdest thing that anybody's ever bought was a, um, a one litre jar of Vaseline, uh, a kilo of Jeffers, and a blow up six doll. Well, all in one, all in all one. one invoice. Yeah, there was a bit of humour going on about what she was getting up to that night. This is Alex. He's the auctioneer and owner of Thornton Auctions. Alex lives for the buzz of the auction house. Uh, we've had people that come along and they start coming along just on date night and they've turned out to be buyers. You get all sorts of people, you know, you get people from all over. We've had people come from as far as Thames, as Thames, Wellington, um, everywhere. So what attracted you guys here? Uh, the idea to see some possibly cheap items and make, make some money on them if they were there. Yeah. Yeah. A bargain. The bargain, yeah. To come here and see what's actually here more than anything but like if you can get it cheap and sell it. It's some free money for a bit of fun yeah. in the middle, yeah. Yeah. Some of this stuff was uh, reclaimed, lost and found but um, I don't think a lot of it was lost and uh, maybe some of it wasn't supposed to be found. It's a good investment. I know. All kinds of things. Yeah. Because you go to a jewellery auction and you expect only jewellery, whereas you come here and you get just about anything. <laughs> the other thing is, it's nice when you come in to have a set target of what you're prepared to spend so that you don't blow your budget. How much do you reckon you need to come here? I think your total is 500 bucks. And we'll start to be about five dollars on this one here. What's more important than the items themselves are the people, the buzz, and the experience is what makes this place so special and keeps the punters coming back. And despite arriving as just a couple of guys looking for a bargain, the producer and myself left without finding one. We did, however, manage to steal one valuable lesson. Oh, it's really good. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Yeah. Never sing clap at an auction! You look like an idiot! <laughs>